Hey coders, welcome back. It's Mohammed from Mascal Tech and today we will be learning about arrays of objects in JavaScript. Make sure to like, share and subscribe this video and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. In this lesson, we will learn about arrays of objects in JavaScript. So guys, we're right here in our P5JS web editor. The link will be down below in the description. Go check it out. So I have the background white, and now we're gonna start with our function, the variable one. So var, and let's name it rectangle is equals to. Then we're gonna type in function followed by parentheses and a semicolon, and in between the parentheses, we're gonna type in shape x and i mean shape x comma shape y and then after that we're going to put in an open query bracket and a closed curly bracket with a semicolon then in between the curly brackets we're going to type in our program so it's going to be fill fill parentheses and then semicolon and let's make it black then I'm going to make the program, which is rect, followed by parentheses and a semicolon. And the code will be 120, comma, 128, no, 130, comma. Then after that, we're going to type in the size, so 200 to 200. Now we're going to call our program. So go under the cur uh, close curly bracket of our function and type in the variable you made like rectangle I made rectangle so rect angle followed by parentheses and a semicolon it didn't appear so let's make a size for it so let's make the size um, the same as this one so I'm just gonna copy paste this size so there we go the code doesn't seem to work Let's see, let's try removing this. And let's try just making rect and rect. So, rect. Yeah, so I have the rectangle. Now let's put the fill back. So, zero and the rectangle. Change the x and y value to the function uh, variable. So, shape x shape y this should work now rectangle 120 130 so let's make this 128 and remove that no hmm what is the mistake did i spell it wrong rect rect Angle, rectangle, no. Shape X, shape Y. Oh, I spelled function wrong. So function and then there's like an error right over here. I put a semicolon, an extra semicolon next to the function. So yep, there we go. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make it smaller from the function inside function and from outside the function yep there we go so now I'm gonna change the X and value so it com comes up like right over here on the sides so we're gonna make four of these so one here one here one here and one here and finally one here so I'm gonna change the sizes I mean the x and y values so there we go so 120s yep like just make it 10 yeah there we go now we're gonna just change the y value for this one and let's make it oh yeah let's make it 10 all right that was so easy now we're gonna go down and make another rect function so I'm just gonna copy paste the top one like we're gonna call it again 
it's uh, piled on top of each other so 20 not 30 how about 90 we have to take it to the other end so 100 no 250 yes i mean 200 then 300 no 250 no 230 yep perfect 230 now we're gonna make another one so we have three now and yeah let's change the x and y value for this one so we have to go down so the 10 is good we have to go down so let's try going down to 30 yep perfect first try now we gotta do the same for the next one just change the y value plus the x value so let's make the x value to 30 and the y value to 30 yeah there we go we got four squares no four rectangles yeah whatever four rectangles or squares and now we're going to start our arrays of object so we did this this is a long way of doing it now this was like a loop so we're gonna just start our arrays of object first we got to make an object so let me zoom in here no let me zoom in here let this go down go like that so you guys can see the code better so we're gonna start by making an object so we're gonna make var and then we're gonna name it um let's name it hooray hooray all right let's name it hooray is equal to instead of putting the open and close bracket we're making an array so we have to put the square bracket i don't know what you call it like square bracket open close square brackets then in between the square brackets we're gonna put an open and close curly bracket so open and close curly bracket close curly bracket now let's start up with our code so the first one's gonna be x a colon not a semicolon a colon this will be the x value for the uh, first rectangle so the first one is 10 then we're gonna put a comma then y a colon not a semicolon a colon then the y value for our first one so 10 10 then close it with a uh, close it with the curly bracket then you go comma enter then you make another open and close curly bracket and in between those we're gonna make another x colon and then we're gonna type in the x value for second one so 230 comma y colon and we're gonna type in the y value for the second one there we go now we're gonna put a comma and make another one so x colon and then the third one is 10 comma y colon the y value is 230 for the third one so comma the last one so open and close curly bracket x colon then I did a mistake x colon then 230 comma 230 code is yeah then y colon 230 oh I know we put a full stop instead of comma so yep there we go our program is here so let's try deleting the loop or the function and hope it works it doesn't work I wonder why it's because we forgot to make the four the four so and don't forget the semicolon after the square brackets or something now we're gonna make a four so to make a four we're gonna type in four space and followed by parentheses and a semicolon no not a semicolon so just parentheses and open curly bracket and a close curly bracket and in between the parentheses we're gonna type in var and let's name it m so var m is equals to zero semicolon 
then space M is less than, not greater than, less than, hooray. Like M is less than hooray dot length. So, so then semicolon, and then we're going to type in M plus plus. There we go, we got our thing, then we're going to type in the code to run. So, the code to run will be rectangle, we'll be calling the function. So, rectangle followed by parentheses and a semicolon. Then between the parentheses, we're going to type in hooray dot uh, hooray then the square brackets and between the square brackets we're going to type in m there we go oh there's a mistake so let's try now we have to change the function so that we're going to change it to just shape so just change it to shape or whatever you want to name it so then it's going to show up an error that shape is not defined so we're going to go in between the open and close bracket of the function and type in shape var shape var shape is var shape x is equals to shape s h a shape dot x then enter var shape y is equals to shape dot y and there we go our program is ready now we're gonna just check our parentheses and everything if they're correct so that's right that's right that's right mm -hmm, that's right and yep everything's right so our program's gonna work just now hooray dot length so there we go our program worked so there was just a mistake of the parentheses and the open query bracket, so I fixed it, and our program's ready. So, this is it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'll see you next time.